Please subscribe, like, and share. It really helps us out. And of course, if you have any questions, comment below and we will answer you as soon as we can. Welcome to this video in our series on IB and I level economics. Today we are going to learn about why is capital so important. If you haven't seen our previous videos, click on the card above. In an industrial and post-industrial economy, you literally can't produce without capital. Yet the modern economist would never see capital as more important, or for that matter less important. Capital and labor are, what economists call, complements. Or even more technically, complementary factors of production. Labor needs capital, that's why it's so important. Capital has five attributes that make it more productive in producing goods and services than labor, if we insist on favoring one or the other. I'm talking about the economist's view of capital. This is the stuff used for production, not the common man's understanding as money. 1. Embody technological progress. Unlike people, a machine can embody thousands of patents and millions of hours of research and development. People have to start, basically from the beginning, at birth. 2. Scalability. It's the reason for increasing returns to scale. Machines can work together in a way people, or groups of people cannot. Bigger machines produce more. Bigger men do not necessarily. You can build a billion machines, and they will produce. When you build a billion people, you have a Malthusian disaster. 3. Persistence. It's part of the definition of capital, and the reason why we have social capital and cultural capital among faux economists. Such capital can be accumulated. Depreciates. On the other hand, people, and their interests, come and go. You can't really hoard men like capital. 4. Cost-efficient reliability. Production needs reliability. Consistency. Every time you push the red button, you get 20 units. Every time the green button, 40 units. It underpins Six Sigma production and the whole field of operations research. And if you replace a machine, you know exactly what you will get. When you replace a person, almost anything might result. 5. Self-replication. Machines help build other machines. A quality ladder exists in input technology. And marginal operating costs are low. Labor has a difficult time reproducing labor, and such a 35-year process of birthing, growing and training new labor cannot respond to changing market conditions like new capital can. Yet, they are complements. No machine can, as yet, be operated without skilled labor. Labor produces the past knowledge that goes into capital blueprints. And labor produces the insights and move modern capital forward. Indeed, all capital serves labor, making it more productive. As an aside, we measure labor productivity in the economic statistics, not capital productivity, because labor uses machines to be more productive. Not vice versa. Well, not yet. Labor identifies market demand. Labor organizes finance and the institutions of production, like labor markets, consumer law, railroad and shipping schedules and other infrastructure. So to sum up, capital is more important in some areas of production but labor in others. Capital does not replace labor. Capital complements labor. And it's this complementary relationship that determines why capital is so important to and for labor. Thank you for watching our video. Please like, subscribe and share. And comment below so we can clarify things for you.